Hi there, Scorpio. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio for the week of May 22nd. If this one doesn't resonate, go ahead and check out your natal chart, and my other readings, uh, specifically your Moon and your Venus. You may want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. So we're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. Uh, if you would like your own private reading, you can find that information in the description box. I'm running a soulmate or a soul tie reading that you might want to check out. Okay, so my trusty assistant B is here on the table. He may reach out. Uh, he's been known to take off with tarot cards, and I'll grab it from him, and we'll see if he pulled anything for you. Uh, I think there's something here that you maybe got tired or your person got tired of waiting for. We've got the three of wands in reverse, which is I'm impatient. I've been waiting. Nothing has shown up. Sometimes that's a long distance card or a manifestation card. We have the world in reverse though, which is interesting. This is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. So it's possible that you're dealing with a fixed sign or you have, well, you are a fixed sign. The world in reverse is unfinished business. It's a cycle that has not closed out. And we have a missed opportunity with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is um, a love relationship. Oh, well, we'll pull that card for you. <laughs> this is a love relationship that didn't uh, work out the way that it could have. It wasn't, um, it wasn't necessarily living up to its full potential here, but there was a lot of love. Yep, Ace of Cups there. All right. And we've got the Four of Cups. This could be someone who didn't really know what they wanted. It could be someone who... Like you made them this love offer and they didn't take it. That four of cups is like, I'm out of alignment. I don't know what I want. I don't know what would make me happy. And you may have a, like a sense of discontent about this connection. You don't know what to do with it. Okay, so this reading has already gone off the rails a little bit. Here's the cards that B pulled for you. I included the two on the top as well as the six of cups since it was revealed. Um, this is the Radiant Wise Tarot. And I'm going to use that to clarify. I'm going to use the Light Seer's Tarot again. At the end, I'll pull cards for how this person feels, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. With the star, that's a wish fulfillment. It's a happily, it's wishing on a star. I'm, I'm manifesting this. I'm optimistic. I'm hopeful. The Ten of Cups is also like wishing being hopeful, having this um, happy ending, this commitment. This may have been a relationship that you were very hopeful about or you you wanted very badly, but it didn't, like, you, you doubted it would happen. It ended badly. You've sort of given up on this, maybe. A lot of emotion. Um, but Six of Cups is like a long-standing relationship with someone. Um... It's sometimes a soul like recognition card. It's a soul tie card. Strong connection here. I don't think you've ever really gotten past this relationship if this is you. I mean, yeah, you may have dated other people. You may even be married to somebody else. But this connection has kind of left like an impression on you. And I would say it's left an impression on your person since it showed up in the joint energy there. We have the Hierophant, Taurus. You could be dealing with the Taurus here. Um, marriage or family may have been a factor. Maybe this person married somebody else or you married somebody else or you were married to this person. Hierophant is also about structure in relationships and structure in society. For some of you, maybe this relationship wasn't appropriate. They couldn't act on it. But look at that. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. More Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. I think there's an element of divine timing. I don't think that this is over. Um, I think that this person is coming back into your life. Well, all right. And the universe says yes. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. 
We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, and it showed up with, wait for it, the Hermit in reverse. So this is a lot to unpack. Um, that Eight of Cups in reverse is really a sense of like, I haven't gotten over this. Um, I'm still emotionally attached to you. Ten of Swords in this particular deck, this is usually a card of like, I've been stabbed in the back, I've been hurt. This is like, I'm confused. I can't stop thinking about this person. I'm up in my head. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't think they ever forgot about you. I don't think they ever got over this ending. And it showed up with the Hermit in reverse. So this is a Virgo card. I think that you haven't spoken to this person maybe in years, maybe in decades. Um, that Hermit card in reverse is someone coming out of hermit mode. But don't think that like you haven't been on their mind or you haven't been in their thoughts. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. She's typically an Aries, but she could be any fire sign. So one or both of you could have fire in your chart. This is also like sometimes the other human being in a love triangle. Like maybe there's somebody else here. They could view you as this queen of wands is very attractive, is very charming, uh, very seductive. People definitely want to be with the queen of wands. I mean, look at her. She's very sexy, very um, accomplished. Let's, let's clarify this a bit more. Let me try to arrange these. These are kind of a mess. So I think it was like a week or two weeks ago where B actually did a reading for Gemini who just started pulling cards off of the pile. So he did that for you. So my cat read your tarot today. He he is the only one who does that. I've never had a, any of my cats be as interested in it as he is. I have to watch he will take off with tarot cards. Let's clarify this a bit. What is the sitch here? We have the chariot, cancer energy. This is someone coming towards you. Um, this could be a long distance connection. Uh, maybe this person was preoccupied with like their business or their career or their stability with the hierophant and the chariot. Those are cards about like success and society and doing what you're supposed to do. Maybe they were like finishing their degree at the time and that was what they prioritized. Maybe they had a child to raise and they had to go with that. But look at that. We've got the Queen of Wands and we have the King of Wands. They feel like the two of you belong together. I think this feels like a question mark for you. I think this feels like a relationship that was never really truly over. Maybe it didn't even have like, like closure and an ending, but look at that. Page of Pentacles, you are going to get an offer from this person. You're going to have some communication coming from them. This could be something simple, like they show up in a DM. It could be like they send you, I don't know, like a Christmas card. I doubt it's this week, but there's some sort of a movement with this person in this situation. Mm. Yeah. Four of Swords in Reverse. So that's a card about taking a break from somebody in the reverse, it's like, I'm feeling restless. I can't sit still. I've got ants in my pants. Okay, let's do feelings and let's do something this person is thinking. Okay, so what about this person's current emotions for you? How do they currently feel? Hmm, got the two of swords. That is making a very difficult decision. Um, this is someone maybe going back and forth. Maybe they want to reach out and they're second guessing themselves. Maybe they made a very head over heart decision to walk away from this connection. It's like they regret it. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers here. This, this may have been like your person, or this may have been someone that you had like a soul contract with or some sort of an intense connection. And that's why it feels unfinished. That's why it feels so intense. Okay. What about the thoughts?
Finding out the truth crushed me. There may be some kind of a truth that came out here that kind of switched up the energy. We have, I hope that you can forgive me one day. And look at this. Leaving you hurt me too. I think they're in a lot of pain here. And I do think it was one of those forced decisions that kind of made this happen. And it's like they chose wrong. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Uh, if you want the extended, click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown. Um, if you would like to order a reading of your own, you can find that in the description box. And blessed be.